What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to be training all parts of our body. So we're going to be doing a full body dumbbell workout using just a single dumbbell. So for those of you guys that have access to only one dumbbell and don't know what to do with it, here's a workout routine you can try. And for those of you guys that have access to more than one dumbbell, you can still go ahead and do this workout right here. The thing is this workout is going to be about 20 minutes long and that's excluding the warm up and the cool down. There's going to be both of those included at the beginning and at the end of the workout. So make sure you guys are doing Doing those as well to prevent injuries and to help with recovery after your workout if you're a man or a woman or even a kid you can go ahead and attempt this workout right here so the difference between doing it like I do it and doing it like you know you're going to do it if you find it challenging is you want to go down in the weight load so start with something you can work with and then increase the weight load the next time you try out the routine first set it's going to be all upper body workouts and the second set is going to be all lower body workouts. One thing you should note is that I'm going to be using two different dumbbell weight loads for you know both sets. So for the upper body set I'm going to be using a 20 pound dumbbell and for the lower body set I'm going to be using a 30 pound dumbbell. There's going to be a lot of single muscle group workouts so like for example a bicep curl that involves using just a single dumbbell but we're working with a 40 second on and a 20 second off system. So after every 20 second when you're working with training a single muscle group what you want to do is switch. So let's say you're doing a bicep curl after completing the left arm you want to go ahead and complete the right arm. The thing with that is to avoid muscle imbalance and I'm talking about disproportionate muscles you know one being larger or stronger than the other one what you want to do is make sure you're using rep counts you know when you're working with single muscle groups. So even if it goes into your break time or your rest time make sure you complete the same amount of rep count. So 10 reps, let's say you complete that in 20 seconds of your right arm bicep curl, then you wanna go ahead and do the same 10 reps for your left arm. Let's get to work with this one, let's torch some calories, and let's build some strength, y'all, let's work.
Thank you